Hey, welcome to Big, and right now you're looking at a witch hazel. So if you're new to plants, I'm just showing this as a follow-up to a prior video that I made. I'm going to show you a clip from that in just a second. But this is a witch hazel. had dried up on me uh, it actually still has a little bit of uh, dryness on it but the reason why I'm showing you this is because all of the leaves had fallen off and what I did was I kept watering it almost daily just to keep that uh, soil moist and what's happened if you look you can actually see it's starting to leaf well it actually has been but it's leafing out throughout and so it's coming back it looks like it's coming back we're going through this drought and witch hazels, they can dry out uh, fairly easy, especially if it's windy and in my area it's been a little windy and the grass is just completely dry, everything is dry. And so no more casualties for me. So if, you, if you're into plants and uh, if you're like me and hate watering, I really do hate dragging out the hose, I just want to tell you don't give up. Keep watering them, keep them, keep them going, and you'll be surprised how they come back. I even had a Japanese maple that had lost all of his leaves, and that it also had came back. So let me show you a quick, uh, quick clip of what this thing was looking like. Sometimes it's hard to tell if your plant needs watering or if there's another problem. So this is a witch hazel, and if you don't know what it is, it's a fantastic tree. I'm going to show you a picture of it where it's. Uh, flowering but I've been trying to save this tree because in my area of southeast we're going through a, a drought or I hope it keeps you motivated to keep dragging out the hose uh, if you're allowed to in your area I know some areas uh, you may not be allowed to so anyways thanks for watching I hope this helps and keeps you motivated